downed a whole bottle, then we took a few taps, or something like that, and then we went out into your hallway, smashed that shit up, fucked that shit up. So, when did you find out you had brain cancer the first time? You had brain cancer, or was it just a tumor? Yeah, or? Yeah. Um, so... It, as it turned out, I'd been having mini seizures for years, but I just ignored it like a true man. Because like ev- I'd, every time Respect. I was like, I'd been on a, I'd been on a bender or really <laughs> hungover, I'd, I'd sort of get these like, whoa, 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 kind of walls are caving in, kind of like vision getting narrow, sound kind of wavering sort of moments. And as I later found out, they were actually mini seizures because one day I was just incredibly fucking hungover yeah. a couple of years after that started and i just remember sitting at my uh sitting at my desk in my old shitty share house and just feeling it coming on and just thinking to myself whoa this is a big one and the next thing i knew i was just like contorted in a fucked up like mess on the floor drooling on the floor my back was just all spasmed up in an extreme pain and i'm just like my housemate couldn't move and my housemate is standing above me just going dude what the fuck is wrong and i'm like I don't know. I don't know. And so he called an ambulance and got whisked away and I, like that to carry me because my back was so fucked and then went and got like a CAT scan or an MRI or whatever it was. And they're like, yeah, there's like a golf ball sized tumor in your brain. Jesus. Think, uh, Fuck. I was right there. Oh yeah. That's a big one. And yeah. how old were you when, when that happened? Uh, I think, I, what am I like 34 now? I would have been like maybe 31. Okay. No, sorry, I'm okay. I'm 36. What am I talking about? I always forget how old I am. <laughs> Blame it on the tumor. Yeah. Blame it on the tumor. Yeah, and they they uh they thought um they thought that like it was just going to be like a, a benign tumor, and it would yeah. just be a surgery and it would be done, and then they got it out and did the uh the biopsy and we like just had to go in for a, you know the appointment with the doctor to kind of talk about the results and. They were just like, it's uh, a little bit worse than, than we expected. It's actually a stage three and you're going to need some chemotherapy and radiation to try and knock this on the head. And so Jesus I did fuck. Th- three months of radiation and I just like partied like a fucking animal the whole time. So when you get that news, what are you going through? Are you like fucking, I'm gone. I'm just going to fucking have a good time and write, see what happens. Yeah, I just like wanted to have a good time, but it was also, I've I've said this in like a few podcasts and stuff before, but really strangely um, liberating for me in a way, because I guess there's the kind of cliche of people finding out that, you know, they've got a terminal illness or something and sort of realizing they haven't done what they wanted to do. And then they, they go and try and pick up that hobby or do the thing that always made them happy or something. But for me, it just kind of gave me an incredible sense of calm in, in that I realized that if this is it, then I'm uh, I'm happy with that. I achieved everything that I wanted to do. All the different You've had a good run. So there's a little clip of this week's Degeni Diaries. If you would like to listen to the full episode, then head to the Patreon, which you can find either in the description of the podcast you're listening to or boilcomedy.com. If you're already part of the Patreon, there's a link in the description. That gives you access to the exclusive Spotify, the Patreon Spotify, where the Degeni Diaries will be coming out every week. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. See you over the Patreon, and I'll see you the fuck later.